Anna with Ovo Arbogs, the sensational butterfly queen. This is my transparent life. Today we are going to continue with our series about hope, which is he is our peace eternally. When we think about hope, we think about a desire and expectation. As Christian and as believers, it's a confident belief that God is going to do what he says he will do. Um, faith tells us, Hebrews tells us that faith is the substance of things hopeful and it's the evidence of things not yet seen. So it's a confident belief that God is going to do what he says he will do for us. But what happens when that hope is deferred as Proverbs tells us that, you know, Hope deferred makes the heart sick. What happens when that hope is deferred or is delayed and it seemed like such a long time coming? There were so many people in the Bible who had a hope deferred. We have Abraham and Sarah and we saw what happened with them when the, their hope was deferred. They took matters into their own hands. And when they took matters into their own hands, Sarah got so angry at her handmaiden because why? She got pregnant. And I believe that Sarah was angry because Hagar got pregnant and could give her husband a baby and she couldn't give her husband a baby. So within herself, she felt disappointed within herself that she couldn't give her husband a desire. Something that she wanted to do, she couldn't give it to her husband. And therefore, within her own heart, Sarah was disappointed, but that disappointed turned into an anger, and it manifested on the outside as anger. And so she started treating her harm, her servant, badly. And there was another part to that story because Hagar got into her own little self, you know, because she was now pregnant with her her her, her, her um, mistress baby, you know, she she was feeling herself a little bit too much, you know, so that kind of feed into Sarah's anger, and Sarah started mistreating her servant. And so, in our lives, at times, sometimes disappointment. When we don't recognize the disappointment, when we don't treat it as a disappointment, as a as a sadness that we didn't get something that we expected, that that our hope is deferred and our hope is delayed, we become angry. I could tell you about anger. I was such an angry person on the inside, and I didn't realize that the, that that anger was stemming from disappointment years of disappointment you see growing up i didn't feel wanted within my family so that was a disappointment to me within that family setting and because of that disappointment at the time i didn't recognize it as disappointment you know they would say oh you have the anger of your father the rage of your father but now as an adult and i can look back and realize that same rage that my father had it comes from a disappointment that we may not know about and it's the same way within my life there was a disappointment there was a need that wasn't met and because as children you don't know how to vocalize or you are not allowed to vocalize you know the sadness that's within your heart it shows up and it manifests as anger and you take out that anger upon everyone else around you in my case the anger didn't manifest um, as often as, um, you know, at the quick of a hat. That anger seeped within my soul. That anger, was, it rested within my, my bosom, as the Bible would say. It rested within my bosom. That anger was there. And that anger only came to the surface like a volcano when I've had enough of what others dished out at me. When I have had enough of taking, you know, what they will say, the crap from the wall. That anger manifested and it came out like a raging volcano and the unsuspecting victim got the full rat of my anger. Was it right? No, totally it wasn't right. But that's that 
because of the disappointment that was sitting there, that undealt with disappointment, that disappointment that I didn't even recognize as disappointment. I just thought it was an anger. It, you know, it's an emotion that us as human beings and we have the right we have the right to express our anger, but the Bible tells us that, you know, we are to be angry and we are not to sin. The Bible also tells us that anger rested in the bosom of fools. I'm looking at my notes. Anger rested in the bosom of fools. That's in Ecclesiastes 7 and 9. When you look at that scripture, it's like anger rested in the bosom of fools. So... God consider me a fool when I, I, I want to allow anger and rage to control my life. Remember the Bible tells us that we can get angry. But when we, we get angry, we are not supposed to sin. So how do we deal with the hope that is deferred? Jesus tells us that he is our peace eternally. So when our hope is deferred, we are to continually, continually put our trust and our faith in God. Don't put your faith in, in what you are hoping to get. Don't put your faith in others. Don't put your faith in things that is temporal and can fade away at the drop of, 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 our, of, of our heart. The Bible tells us that our hope should be in God. Our confidence should be in God. The Bible even tells us not to put our confidence in man. That confidence, that is our hope. Don't put your hope in man because men are flawed human beings. We make mistakes. You know, we get, you know, we get within our own self and we don't even realize what we are doing at times. So don't put your faith and your hope in in human beings put your faith and your hope in God wait patiently and confidently for God God tells us that his grace is sufficient for us that means in the season where we are waiting and our hope is deferred we are to have confidence in God's ability to do the things that he is saying he, he we will do for us it's like us as believers waiting for the return of christ we haven't seen him but if we lose hope that christ will not return one day we will go out there and we'll become just like this world living in darkness having no clue that jesus christ will return one day so i want you to wait confidently and don't become so angry when your hope is deferred. Recognize when your hope is deferred that you are experiencing a disappointment and it's not really anger. You are angry because your, this, your hope is not manifesting. You're angry because the things that you are putting your heart and your faith and your trust into is not happening. And therefore you are becoming angry what is the expectations in your life that are disappointments and you are looking at them as anger you're not seeing them as the thing that they are you're not dealing them as a disappointment you're not dealing with it as a sadness within your heart you're looking at it as you being angry but my friend can i tell you maybe you're not angry maybe you're just disappointed that life expectations hasn't turned out the way you wanted it to i can't attest to that i know how that feels well life hasn't turned out the way you expected it to turn out but that's where we go wrong as human beings. Our expectations should be in God. Our expectations should not be in our own ability and how things should turn out. Our, our expectations should not be in others. Our expectations should be in God and God alone. So today I, I encourage you to put back your expectations upon God. Turn back your eyes, turn back your hope upon God and wait patiently, wait confidently. Um, Lamentations 20, um, verse 3 and 20, 25 to 26 tells us, 
God is good to those who wait in hope to him, for him. God is good to those who wait in hope for him. When we take things into our own hands, there are always going to be consequences. And those consequences ended up with us having our heart break. So today, my encouragement is for <laughs> so today my encouragement to you is to cast back your confidence and your hope upon God. Take your eyes off of this world system. And when disappointments arise in your life, acknowledge it as a disappointment. Acknowledge it and say, yeah, I'm, I'm sad that this didn't turn out the way it, I hoped it would turn out. Acknowledge it. Because if you don't acknowledge it, that disappointment is going to sit within your soul and eventually it's going to manifest as anger. And that anger, we don't want to take out your anger upon anyone around you. Search your heart and see where you are basically um, categorizing a disappointment as anger. And deal with the disappointment so that way you are not going to be filled with anger and filled with rage. Filled with anger and filled with rage. Remember that the Bible tells us that we can be angry, but we are not to sin. This is our boss, the sensational butterfly queen. Remember that God loves you, God sees you, and you are very, very special indeed to him. I will see you in our next video.